Hey what's up guys, today we'll be looking at some of the best video editing apps that you can get on Android. Let's get started. Starting off is InShot. So this one is great for editing photos and videos you want to post on Instagram. So this one comes with the basic functions like merge, trim, add music and more. You can also choose how the video is presented that is either original, cropped or with a blurred background. You can also add different overlays like text, stickers or even different, lots of different emojis. You can also add a background color in case you want to have a widescreen video but you don't want to crop it. It can be a pretty useful editor for beginners. After that we have Quick which is amazing if you want to make short videos on the go. First the app will have you choose an intro and the many templates to choose from with many unique designs. Then you get to choose the music for your video and for that you can use its online library or your own soundtrack. You can also select where the music starts. You can also add different filters to the video like warm, bright, monochrome or even vintage. You can also enable or disable an outro for the video and all videos can be output in 1080p at 60 frames per second. Next we have Adobe Premiere Clip. So the advantage of using this one is that all your projects are synced online meaning that your work is always backed up. For editing you get all the necessary functions like you can change the exposure, highlights and shadows of the video, you can adjust the audio volume and also add audio fade in and fade out. The video clip can also be slowed down in case you want slow more action shots and you can also add different visual effects like film, vibrant, aged and more. Other settings include video fade in and fade out, crossfade between clips and even custom watermarks. So this editor is perfect if you simply want to make a few changes to the videos recorded on your phone. Following that is Filmora Go. I've actually made a full review of this app and I'll link that video down below. In short, this video editor has very many features that too for free. You have the usual trim, crop and rotate. You can also add text to the video in many different fonts, colors and effects. And the app also lets you record voiceovers and even set the audio levels for different audio. There are also many different filters that you can add for the video for achieving different looks. You can also use overlays to the video such as bokeh, snow or even old film. Other elements include stars, leaves, fog or even paper planes. So you can add a lot of things over here and you can also add titles to the video and even adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, temperature and even vignette. Moving on is vid trim. This one only comes with the most used functions like trim, merge, rotate and even convert to mp3. The app also lets you transcode videos where you can change the resolution, video quality and even choose external audio. You can also select different effects for the video and even adjust the strength of the effect. So Vitrim may not come with a lot of features but it has the essentials to get you going. Last on the list we have KineMaster Pro. This is like the most advanced video editor you can get on Android. It brings tons of useful features and you can check my full video on it from the description below. Naming a few things you can do. You can add clip graphics that include title effects and themes. You can change the speed of the video, rotate it or mirror it, change the color profile and even control the volume envelope. You can also add different overlays to the video like another video or photos, stickers, text and even your own handwriting. The app also supports media on many tracks for video and audio editing.